Hello, this has been happening back another action. It is release day. Ava Max's album is finally here. Now, this got pushed back, I think, a few times. We had a lead single, I think it came out in like April or something last year. I reacted to that. It was maybe you're the problem. Viber Rooney, little dance bop, video clip was iconic. I haven't heard anything else since then. I was like, it's too much of a long rollout. So I'm just gonna wait and wait until the album drops. So I know Diamonds and Dance Falls, I think, got released, maybe. An album cover looks stunning, like absolutely stunning. I'm very keen to get into a pop album. It's like the first kind of pop one of the year, like, you know, dancey little pop number. I'm expecting some bops. I'm expecting to slay and just go hard. There's 14 songs and only 40 minutes. They are going to be quite short, which we know, you know, we still want some substance. I don't mind a shorter song if it still gives you, you know, an impact. The full cut to this and my other videos, it's on Patreon if you want to support me. Link is down below. I'm on Instagram with Grippin. I'm on my Discord. All those links, you can find them down below. Other than that, we know what we're in for. Oh, kind of. We kind of, we kind of know what we're in for. Let's get the party started. Ooh, la la. All right, the opening track is called Million Dollar Baby. Let's go. Just cracking three minutes, definitely felt a lot longer. That just had a punch to it, like, oh my god, that's how you open a track. Lots of writers, I'm gonna guess, I don't know, maybe she, I know she samples a lot, or like there's some influences, so yeah, I don't know if the, all the writers are like specific writers, or if she just credited some stuff in there. Epic, epic, that is how you open the album. I'm already like, oh my god, can we go for a nap, because that is a cardio little workout. It could be quite self-empowering, I guess, or could be talking about something, but I feel like it's more talking about yourself and what you deserve. For me, anyway. If that's the opening track, what the hell are we gonna get next? The next song is Sleepwalker. Let's go. I do like it, and while I said it's not as good as the first one, they are so different. I really do like that 80s horror little vibe. I wish it kind of like lent more into that. Definitely felt more like monster mashy, so I just wish the lyrics maybe were a bit more horror but that's, you know, just what I, I guess felt that the song should be. Just really perfectly done. I mean, obviously it's all gonna be perfectly crafted and just so perfectly done, but her voice and the runs, I'm loving that she's doing on the album. Yeah. It's just, it's just so, per it's just perfect. So I guess it's going to be hard to critique it in terms of like, it's, it is what it is. It's just good pop music, which I guess is what I wanted. So I got nothing to complain about. Next song we know, maybe the problem. I haven't really listened to this much to be fair since the single came out. So I'm keen to go back in with it and just see how that, you know, works within the album. Let's go. I mean, yeah, this is definitely a good song. Stronger than the first two, I think. 80s vibe though. Oh, it's actually good to come to Sleepwalker too. <laughs> It's 
gonna be hard. I think it just really depends on your mood. And like, while I really like it, I definitely do like Sleepwalker. That's just really standing out to me. I think I just need to stop saying that these songs are better than the other or whatever. Stop comparing them because it really just depends on your mood. Cool lyrical content throughout. I was a bit like, oh, is it gonna be cohesive? And I guess it kind of works. I really like that one after Sleepwalker. I think as I've heard it as well, it's like it's not as exciting as the others. I actually love it when the music kind of strips back and there's still a beat and her voice is just shining through. Like I think it would be awesome to hear her in a different genre. While I love the pop and it's easy you know, smash out. It can become, you know, I guess not as deep or sometimes not as believable. So I really would love to hear a strip back and, or even, I don't know, a rockier sound. I don't know, something just to kind of give her a bit more oomph because her voice is so powerful. The next song is Ghost. Let's go. <laughs> Sick, absolutely my favorite so far. I loved just how it sounded, the voice, the voice, <laughs> her vocal delivery. Again, that strip back, I love. I love that you get that in these songs. Yeah, it was sick. Such a little, just like, do, do, do. Nothing too full on, just enough to kind of oomph you along with the lyrics and the delivery of how she sang it. Love. I'm everywhere I go, I'm haunted by your ghost. I love that. Maybe you're the problem. And now she's like, like left them and now she's haunted by the good. I like the continuation of that. Really love that one. That's definitely like kind of brought me in. The first few, like why they called this one, I don't know. It sucked me in. I like that. That was, yeah, I'm here for this now. Next song is Hold Up. Wait a minute. Let's go. <laughs> It's like not even 2.30, but again, like enough. Got what we needed, rocked out, but yeah, you got the message of the song, and now let's move on to the next one. Love, yeah, I don't know, short enough for me anyway. I know I'm not a huge fan of short songs. That one just worked, funky lishy yos. I don't know, just, I really love those two. They're very, like, I guess similar sounding for me in terms of like the realms of what they're delivering. That was sick. Love, hold on, wait a minute. Super sad, relatable content. We've all been there, but just, I don't know, delivered in a funky little way that you're still gonna rock out knowing that someone's cheating on you. <laughs> number six is here, my favorite number. Is it gonna give us the best song on the album? Let's find out, it's called Weapons. Let's go. Stop using your words as weapons. Ah. All right, we're going now. I'm like, weapons. Yeah, let's keep going. 
two and a half, perfect, just get in, get out, do what you need to do. Love that chorus, the vocal delivery, the ending where it's like, stop, and like the echo and the strip back again. She's loving a good old strippy back. Love, absolutely one of the best for me. Love that, oh my God, I'm gonna slam that so hard when this is off, like I'm, yeah. I love that, that is sick. Absolutely one of the best for me. Maybe the best, that was sick. Just fun, like I think now that I'm like, stop trying to I guess, get, I don't know, I think I, for the start, I think maybe I was going in too serious, knowing that it was pop, I don't know what I was doing, but now I'm just like, let's have fun, rock out, feel it, but it doesn't need to be a super deep emotion or a connectability. It's relatable and I get it, but it's also just have fun with it. Like it's not about being sad, it's about being sad, but rocking out and having fun. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully you get what I mean, but I'm vibing. Next song is Diamonds and Dance Falls. This is the album title, so it should encapsulate everything the album is. Let's find out, let's go. Oh, we're gonna get a bit more. encapsulates the album it's weird it's got the vocal stuff it's got the cool little hooks the melodies definitely a weird one but i really really liked it i don't know it's, it's like a lullaby like she said lucid dreams some psychological crap going on there very cool the verses i loved and i love that din, 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 din. like that no that was not even it like din, 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 din. <laughs> i think it's a sample i think yeah well halfway through and i'm banging rang and tanging i'm keen for the rest i'm yeah like, very cool. I'd love to go back now and listen to like Million Baby Sleepwalker. I mean, I love Sleepwalker. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was talking about. I think maybe your problem just kind of threw me a bit, but everything else is like, I'm slamming. I don't know, maybe your problem just is probably the weakest. And I know I said it was better than the first two, but it actually kind of in comparison is a bit weaker, I think. Well, next song's In the Dark. Let's go. Than the other ones are kind of probably too long and it's not even at three minutes that's crazy and i'm already accustomed to the shortness of the songs yeah not a bad song again it's not they're not going to be bad because they're just songs you can still listen to i don't know i guess i loved that pre-chorus or whatever it was but other than that like an easy song just yeah nothing grabbed me for me like my least favorite i'd delete it i wouldn't really care i suppose if i never heard it again just had it in the dark and now we're at turn off the lights so probably should have had turn off the lights and then in the dark if you're going to go in like order of what you do let's go <laughs> Next song is One of Us. Let's go. One of us would die for love. One of us would give yes. it up. Bring me down.
That's the last thing. That's the only kind of thing that's really jarring. Everything else, they're just pretty nice. I love the chorus or verse, opening verse, whatever it was, pre-chorus. The really stunning one kind of brought us back to where we needed to be after the last few songs kind of been a bit like meh. Yeah, that's nice that that hook is already in your head. You're like, Wah. yeah, I love that. That was sick. Next one's Get Out of My Heart. Let's go. into that sad vibe and I guess for me I'd love to see her I guess really take creative control there is a lot of writers on most of the song and I don't know you know what's like a sample or things like that so it would be cool to see some like real creative direction I'm not saying it's not but clearly this stuff is just you know very commercialized and mainstream it's like that you know poppy dance stuff and it's not to discredit it I love it but I definitely think I'd have to be in the right mood to really go in with the whole album and while I'm vibing and love like there are six songs yeah I guess I just want a bit more maybe which I don't know, maybe I'm just being greedy. Next song is Cold as Ice. Let's go. Let's go. Like some of them are just so good though. I keep the pistol under my pillow at night. You know, this is what I mean. insane how these short songs still feel like proper full length songs. All right, that definitely made me eat my words on what I said, and I think it's just made me realize there's some very, very epic songs, and they are all the ones that keep you on your feet and do things differently throughout. The ones that are just kind of like the same beat, almost just like repeating throughout the song and don't go anywhere, take away from that creativity, whereas these feel like proper thought out songs and just like, let's have something happen with it. Definitely she needs to do a horror album. Just the voice is so perfect for it, like that creepy little thing that she leads into. Like, that song definitely made me think of like Sleepwalker Ghost like those three are so good together I don't know what I'm saying it's it's a very interesting album because it's it's hard because you're trying to like lean just into having fun but also like I'm someone who loves lyrics really creative projects so there's some aspects of it but overall it's still a really good album there's just some things I guess I'm just not connecting with as much as you know like that song like got me in whereas some of the others I'm like eh but you know you know what I mean I don't know am I making any sense on this album next song is Last Night on Earth let's go see this sounds sick
working style off really strong. Love the vocals towards the end, but just again, they're all right songs. And like I say, it's a nice song, just didn't vibe with me. It's, it didn't pull me in. I was like, yeah, it's all right. Like I wouldn't care to hear it again, I suppose. Which sounds harsh, but when you've got some epic, epic songs on the album, like these ones just fall flat and maybe they wouldn't if the others weren't so good. I don't know. There definitely feels like some songs have had a lot more put into them than, you know, a song like this. But the last song, it's called Dancing's Done. So we've danced out, we've rocked out, and now it's done. Let's end it, let's go. Oh, come on, just like, let's go hard now, please. Exactly what I thought, but not at the same time. Just those quintessential dance songs. Her voice is so stunning. So I definitely would love to see her venture out and just do something different. I love this stuff. And like I said, the songs that really got me, got me. I definitely think she could do a horror album. I would love to hear her. I don't know, a bit more indie vibes. Would love to hear her rocky. And maybe like... Maybe classic pop because I feel that this is dance pop. I know I'm like kind of whinging and saying like I want more and I want this. I do like the album. It's just, oh, I love it because it's just quintessential. But I'm also like, oh, it just could be a bit more oomph or a bit more like deeper. And I know that's like the totally opposite things. Like a lot of these songs are under two minutes. So it's like, it is what it is. So I did really like the album. I think I just need to listen to it a couple more times and just, I think I'm overthinking it. But also the songs that were bangers were absolute bangers. Sleepwalker, Ghost, Weapons. Oh my God, Weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. Diamonds and Dance Lost was so funkalicious. Dancing's done, very sick. The ones that really stood out to me did, and the ones that I didn't, I wouldn't even be able to tell you the melodies and how they went. But what did you guys think? Are you impressed? Are you happy with where she's going or the direction she's in? Yeah, I don't know how many songs had samples or anything like that. It all sounded familiar, but I guess it's just that 80s kind of vibe that is everywhere now. So yeah, I'm keen to hear what you guys think. Let me know down below. Did it kind of throw you, or were you just like, yeah, this is just quintessential Amy Max? I suppose I don't listen to her too much either. I listen to a lot of music, so I guess it's kind of like I'm trying to slot it into my brain where I can like, I don't, know. I don't even know. I'm just shut up and just shut up. It's a good album. I like it. Easy, fun, has some bangers, has some real songs that pull you in and then it just has some easier songs to listen to. Pretty much, that's it. Well, and Cat to This is on Patreon. Link is down below. If you like me, hit like and subscribe. I'm on Instagram with Griffin. All that jazz is down below. Let me know what the songs are about. Let me know if there's any samples. Let me know what your favorite song is and what you think of the album. Hope you're having a good day, everyone. I'm going to have a great day, everyone. Then it's going to go.